So the third week of the Entrenched event has returned for us guys. So let's see what you can unlock right now. If you've unlocked the previous 10 levels, this is your last week potentially to unlock everything. Again, does say that the next week won't be until like another month until August 16th. So we got some time in between here and the next Entrenched event if you guys really want to try to keep unlocking your stuff. We have like this swords and spades kind of the emblem right there. We also have a coating. We have another type of visor. And we also have a different type of helmet attachment right there. Different chest piece attachment, which does look kind of sweet, not gonna lie. And then we also have the two shoulder pieces right there. We also have a new stance with a gravity hammer, looks kind of fun. And then on top of that, we have another coating. And then on the last one here, we have a bit of a wristband kind of attachment right there for your Eagle Strike core. So that's all you have right here for this week, guys. If you have already completed your previous 20 challenges, like the previous two weeks, that's what you'll be able to complete for it. Also the week challenges, I kind of looked over them. They look pretty similar as like last week, which I've seen like actually a great improvement when it comes to the modes and things you have to do within this game to be able to, you know, get all the cool unlock stuff. For a lot of it, it's really just kind of play the game kind of stuff, like nothing too crazy, right? We got like sidekick kills, um, you know, earn cumulative score and land grab, earn score in tactical slayer, aka SWAT. And also, so, you know, just kill Spartans, like kill, get 10 kills and la while playing land grab. That's something that's super easy to do. Like, I really like how these challenges have definitely taken a turn in the right direction when it comes to Halo Infinite. I mean, personally, I like to be able to kind of make progress in all these challenges all at once, like you can with the MCC. Still, though, a lot of them are not too bad. Like, even though the more specific ones I saw, like, what was like, get a shock rifle kill, get one of those. Like, it's a little more difficult to find that, but as long as you just jump into either like a Fiesta game or just continue to play the game, you'll be able to find one nothing too crazy like get three mangler kills so you know watch your back right there guys for this week when it comes to all that kind of stuff we also have the nomad shuttler when it comes to an armor coating which looks to be a coating for your eagle strike core which just definitely needs a lot more options at least free options when it comes to your coatings for this which does look kind of nice uh definitely want to try it out i might actually grind out for this one because it actually does look pretty sweet and just like in the previous two weeks the entrenched playlist is what you have to play to get these event challenges complete and it's all just land grab just like last time so nothing too crazy there i do wish 343 would try to spice things up a little bit more with these events each time they come around especially for the fracture events like yeah grinding stuff to the battle pass is great to kind of earn that content but like this is the same thing we've done the last two weeks to try to earn the same stuff maybe try to mix up maybe like different maps or maybe, maybe different modes or something to kind of spice up a little bit because it's just feeling a little monotonous with these entrenched events and while we're here let's check out the shop one has to offer this week last week was probably one of the cheapest shops we've ever seen which I didn't really bother buying anything and I don't think I'll be buying anything this week as well so this week we have the event tied uh, infantry right here which kind of has like a really weird like visor cover over it but you get like a helmet here and this is like the really weird like visor color it makes you look like you're kind of doing like this kind of weird like who kind of face I don't know it's kind of weird but I guess it'd be kind of fun right and you also get the shoulder pads right there actually a pretty sweet looking uh, armor chest attachment right there which looks great but all that so these different bits of a customization for 700 credits right there we have the eventability of war which is just kind of like you vent out flames from your visor right here which is pretty sweet but for 500 credits and eh, i don't know if it's really that much worth it to me right there uh, we also have a rare bundle which is just a bunch of you know emblems and stuff like that nothing too crazy there uh not a daily bundle because we're not doing daily bundles for season two s343 previously stated that it's just not enough content it seems like to stretch out for the entirety of season two and for the big set we have for 1400 credits which is the brody armor set right here which does look kind of cool for your whole setup right there you get a helmet you also get the attachment right there for your visor or helmet i should say a uh, different kind of coating which looks great for the eagle strike which definitely needs much more customization to be much more of a viable set uh, we got different shoulder pads right there have kind of a cool mesh to it cool looking uh chest piece attachment right there i guess i have actually a lot of these eagle strike attachments do look pretty sweet not gonna lie you get a visor you get same kind of like mesh on the knee pads right there as well and a bunch of emblems that's kind of it for the store I'm not gonna be picking up anything in particular. I'm not super into like this uh, Eagle Strike core, but uh, definitely if you that's your options right there if you guys wanna check them out. But before I go any further, do you guys want a chance to win this bad boy projector right here? Like this is an awesome projector that I recently got from Ben Q and it's freaking sweet. And right now there's actually a full on Halo Infinite tournament happening 
with for this BenQ projector right here. Basically, you go to the website, you fill out your team name and stuff like that, and you're able to win one of these projectors, which is really nice. It's not gonna be just me though. We also have Uber Nick, Real Life Spartan, and Nade God also jumping in with this tournament as well. So we have a few content creators as well jumping in. It will be taking place on July 16th. That's a Saturday, guys. So if you definitely want to get in, jump in and sign up if you can. We've already had a few teams sign up. Basically, you go in, fill out your roster, and then you're good to go. Join in with the Discord server, get a chance to win a free projector, which is a 4K 60 frames per second gaming projector. This thing looks freaking sweet. It plays super well on top of that. You know, these are like $1,500 value when it comes to these projectors. So it's definitely worth something there. And uh, if you guys ever want a chance to like have a chance to play with your family or something like that, because you know, playing these little small screens, we ever do split screen. Honestly, it's not that enjoyable of an experience, especially since we have split screen coming to Halo Infinite in season three. You're gonna wanna pick up one of these projectors, guys. If you wanna do some split screen console gameplay, this will actually be amazing for that. Again, that's July 16th, guys, for you to jump in for this BenQ Projector Halo Infinite Tournament. All the information you need to know, guys, is in the pinned comment here. You the link right there, takes you right to this website. You can sign up and get all the information you need. Well, let's get right back into those details. So apparently there's a new bug in Halo Infinite right now, which essentially gives you the a double shot, quad shot if you can, with the Halo Infinite battle rifle. It seems to be something with picking up the oddball, doing a few swings with it or something like that, where it causes you to actually do like a double shot in the game. Kind of broken, especially since one of the biggest modes in the competitive playlist is oddball. Uh, you're definitely gonna want to be able to like, you know, have a fair match, which just kind of messes everything up. It also avoids having to do the reload animation, as you can see right here. Ben Blitz is showcasing this bug right here, keeps on shooting, even though he has like the reload and stuff like that. It's a really weird kind of bug. I haven't really seen this happen in game yet, but since now there's a video about it, letting you guys know that like this is gonna be out in the public for people to know, and that's like kind of general knowledge at this point. And apparently this is very repeatable. As you can see this player here on Twitter, had the ball, picked it up, dropped it, picked it up, dropped it again, and had like a crazy like quad shot happen with this battle rifle. So this is definitely not supposed to happen and definitely needs to get patched as soon as possible. It's another battle rifle glitch happening with season two. Apparently this happened once with the uh, update when it came to the map recharge being put back into Halo Infinite. This patch just somehow caused this bit of an issue as well. So I'm letting you guys know, keep an eye out for it. And also just don't do it because let's be fair, let's have some fun with the game, right? You don't need to cheese every situation, right? But also getting the word out there that it is happening. Hopefully 343 3 gets around the patch. It's sooner than a month, that last time with the weird uh, glitch happened last month with the weapon jamming. But as this is a developing story, you know I'll share it with you guys here on the channel as soon as we get some more information from 343. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching, greatly appreciate it, and catch you on the next one. Peace out.